Hi, we are here with Sarah Joy, the event coordinator at the club at Crested Butte. How are you doing, Sarah? I'm great. How are you? Good. So how long has the club been here in Crested Butte? The club has been open for 30 years. Oh, nice. We've been um, a part of the Skyland and Crested Butte community for a long time and are so excited to be continuing to provide services. Awesome. So tell me a little bit about the services you do have here at the club. Well, for our events, we have an amazing space with expansive views, some of the best views in the valley, mm -hmm. in my opinion, yeah. um, that can service people indoors and out. Um, everyone has the ability to enjoy the views and enjoy the beautiful mountain air, but still come inside and uh, enjoy their meal and dinner, dancing, the whole nine yards. So do people typically have their ceremony outside then, like either on the deck or on the... Yes. golf course or where do people usually we have a beautiful um, outdoor ceremony space for our summer and fall weddings mm -hmm. um, and then we also have a really nice expansive patio for winter weddings so you can still have a beautiful outdoor ceremony without being in the snow right and then uh, come right back in for your reception um, so in the summer where's the ceremony usually it's actually right out these doors um, on the it, golf course? Yes. Oh, okay, neat. Um, you don't actually have any golf course views specifically. Like, there aren't any views of the greens or anything like okay. that. You just get some really amazing mountain views. Um, Whetstone Mountain is, is generally our backdrop, and it's so gorgeous. Nice. And then they come in here, and how many people can you fit, or how many people can dine in we this space? We can hold up to 200 guests. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yes. And do you provide all the food and beverages too? I know there's a we bar do. over there, but is yes. it functioning during a wedding? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Our bar is pretty much available for you to streamline however you want for your event. Um, we also have a great chef who can create custom menus um, oh, wow. especially for you. Really? So you can come yes. in and say, I want lamb and chicken absolutely. and pasta? Absolutely. And he'll do it. We have a bride this coming summer who's having an avocado bar. Wow. For her, for her, uh, one of her hors d'oeuvres. So. That's really interesting. Yeah, yeah, wow. we're excited about that. That's very cool. So mm -hmm. he will customize something for 200 guests, huh? Absolutely. Amazing. And then do you put in a dance floor or? Yes, we do have a dance floor um, that can pretty much be set up wherever um, the couple likes. Okay. So um, our layout is, is custom as well, depending on where, the amount of guests that you have and where you want your dance floor to be. Awesome. Um, I know you guys have a gym and a pool yes. and a hot tub yes. and the golf course. Of course. Um, are all those facilities available to the wedding guests? They are. They're available to the bride and groom and, the, and their wedding party Okay. Um, for the entire weekend. So mm -hmm. if you are getting married on a Sunday, your wedding um, party would be able to use the, the fitness center, the pool, um, and be privy to discounted golf rates Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I'm sure a lot of couples probably take advantage of... I can imagine golfing is a popular thing for the grooms. It is men and absolutely. The groom to do. We've scheduled special golf tournaments for the groom and, and his friends and family, nice. um, with luncheons in addition to that. So um, it's a great way to really incorporate the the whole club into your event. Now I know you're the person to talk to if somebody wanted to get married at the club. How much do you, do you do? I mean, will you? help with the decor? Are you Absolutely. guiding them with other vendor choices or are you just booking I am the a date? full service event planner. Okay. Um, I can give vendor recommendations, help schedule appointments for those things, help find invitations, suggest ideas for decor that are specially, you know, surrounded with what we do here in Crested Butte to make it really, really special for the couple. Awesome. Um, yeah, I can pretty much do it all. And you probably do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, many, many times. Yes. Awesome, Sarah. Well, we're just going to take a quick break. We'll be back in a moment. Here at Third Eye Photography, we take great pride in our products and services. I handpick and design each of our products to ensure top quality and efficiency. These products are everlasting, bounding your memories with beauty and excellence. Our White Series albums are our top level books. 
The premium White Series albums come in a variety of cover options including photo on metal, photo on canvas, and a host of leather and fabric choices. Premium White Series albums are available in 12x12 and 12x8 sizes and are offered in the Black Label collection. The standard White Series albums come in 10x10 and smaller sizes with custom photo, fabric, and leather cover options. The Shutter Series albums are also beautiful. These books are typically used as the engagement guest book, but also make for perfect parent albums. So we're back with Sarah Joy, the event coordinator of the club at Crested Butte. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Thanks for taking the time to chat with me. Of course. I know that uh, you, um, you work a lot with all the brides and grooms that come through here. Do they typically tend towards local vendors? Are you usually working with the local vendors, or are they bringing people in from wherever they're hailing from? For the most part, we work with local vendors. Okay. Um, occasionally, we will outsource um, for specific things that are that the bride and groom really want if we can't find it here. Um, and I do have some connections in other areas of Colorado um, that we can bring bring more unique vendors in if we can't find what we're looking for here. What what are the most, I don't want to say popular, but I know that there's sectors of our vendors that there are there's lots of them and then er, other areas that Crestview may be lacking a little bit. We're pretty far from mm -hmm. any metropolitan area. Do you find that to be a problem? Are you typically looking out in Denver or the surrounding metropolitan areas for live music or anything like that? It can sometimes be a challenge. Yeah. Um, live music definitely is a little bit hard. We do have a lot of amazing re musicians right here in Crested Butte. Awesome. Um, we don't have a large selection. And uh, what I always tell my couples is that they should choose their most important vendors first so that they can make sure they get their top choice. Yeah. Um, because once the five or ten bands in town get booked, that's that's all that right. you know. They they usually can only do one event a day, so that's that's where it gets to be hard is when we have more than one wedding in one weekend, uh, and uh, and they can't do two. So, right. Exactly. Yeah. What do you find is like the biggest pool of vendors to draw from in the area? Photographers. Photographers. Okay. We have plenty of photographers. <laughs> yes. And. We have so many talented photographers, which is amazing. Awesome. Um, it's a great place to take photos. So uh, the greatest part about using a local photographer, in my opinion, is that they really know um, amazing places to take photos. And it really makes a big difference when planning out your day to have that person that can say, well, we can go here because the light's great this time of day, or we can go there if you want an urban shot, we can, you know, here's a good spot. Um, so it really makes a big difference to use a local photographer, in my opinion. And let's say um, the bride and groom are a little restricted on their on their time, on their schedule, on how much money they're willing to spend on a photographer. Are there places close? Because I know we're a little bit outside of the actual Crest Butte proper um, and pretty far away from the mountain. Are there places close by that they can easily get to that they can take some nice photography, oh, some nice pictures, maybe like in the Aspens or anything? Definitely, okay. definitely. There are several trails nearby. Um, we also have the ability to let our, our couples use um, a golf cart and cruise around the golf course. Fun. Um, and take photos. We have really cute little Aspen groves and a couple lakes right on the course oh, that cool. can make for beautiful photos. Nice. Well, it is a beautiful golf course, certainly. It is. It is. So cool. Um, anything unusual that you could talk about with the club well, specifically? I had mentioned the food before, mm -hmm. and um, with everyone being so into food these days, it really is awesome that we have such an amazing chef. Um, who can create custom menus for our brides and grooms. Um, some of them want to have food that's special to them or a part of their culture. Some of them want to have mm -hmm. food that's a part of the Colorado cuisine. Sure. So we really love being able to use local fresh food if we can. Oh, excellent. Or, um, or be really uh, imaginative with our menus. It's a really great way that the bride and groom can express themselves in their event. That's true. How far out are bride and grooms booking for the club right now? Um, I have brides and grooms looking um, 
for 2015 at this point. So wow. up, to, I would say a year in advance. Okay. Um, and then, you know, the brides and grooms that are able to pick their venue up to a year in advance have a have an advantage with finding their other vendors because they're able to really choose whoever they like. Sure. Which is awesome for them. And do you find that because you have the indoor um, location? that the season is actually a little bit larger for you guys? Here? It is. Um, we are able to do a lot of fall weddings, okay. which is so beautiful with all the fall colors. Yeah. Um, and you can get a little fall colors and some snow on the mountaintops, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. And your guests are still able to come inside and enjoy the, the evening air by walking in and out or having some windows open. But they don't have to be... Freezing. confined to the outdoors <laughs> the entire evening. Right. And it can be cold here. It can. It can even be cold in July. It can. <laughs> so it's great, especially for your out-of-town guests that aren't used to, to um, the cool mountain air, to have them be able to come inside and be more comfortable. Sure. What, at what time in the year, now I know this is hard to say because every year we get a different amount of snow, but Definitely. by when do you think most of the snow is melted and you can start to see some of the green of the golf course? Usually um, by the end of May. It's definitely by June. Okay. Um, June is usually when we start with the weddings. Um, the first wedding event that we have here this summer is June 7th. Oh, wow. So, really? June? Yeah. Yes. Very yeah. cool. Um, so June is usually your best bet to really have all the green coming out okay. by that point. Perfect. Anything ever really crazy that somebody has asked you for? We had a fireworks display wow. last summer, which was really cool. That is really cool. Um, Where did they shoot them off from? They shot them off it on the course. Oh, okay. And it was in the fall, so our course was actually closed oh, at that I point. See. So it, it worked out really well because it was a beautiful sunny fall day um, for the couple and for the whole entire event. And then once it got to be evening, we were able to do the fireworks show and all the guests could go out on the patio and, and enjoy it. Um, That's pretty cool. We can't do that in the summertime, unfortunately, because of the, the course oh, yeah. and the care of the course. But once fall rolls around and, um, and we're closing down for the year, we're really able to... Uh, to do some cool things like that. So when do you open the course in the spring? The course opens Memorial Day weekend. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. So end of May. So there's got to be no snow on it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's hard to find that ball if there's it snow is. on the it golf course. Is. Uh, great. Well, thanks for taking the time. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much. And good luck in 2014. Absolutely.